Good morning, everybody. Um, I just thought I'd come on and do a quick pre-recorded video. Um, I haven't done one in a while. Um, it is early in the morning. I know I look like crud, but it is what it is. Um, so, um, I've not done a video uh, in a little bit because um, I have not been feeling so well. Um, I guess for about the past, really the past month or maybe longer has been really rough, really, really, really rough. Um, some days I try to pull myself out of it, but other days I just can't seem to get off the couch, um, long enough to do anything. Um, last week, maybe a week and a half, maybe even two weeks now, I don't know, I can't keep up with my days. Um... I was very, very, very depressed, um, and my anxiety was just, you know, through the roof, but, um, I do feel better, uh, I am, you know, kind of getting out of my funk that I was in, um, it's funny, not funny, but it's just crazy what your mind can do, places it can take you. Um, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. Um, just laying on the couch 24 7 um, with your mind going crazy about what am I going to do about this? How am I going to do that? What am I going to do about this? I got this to do. I got that to do. I can't get the energy to do it. Um, it absolutely sucks. Absolutely sucks. Um, I mean, there was a few days there that. I really, I really just, uh, didn't care about me at all, whatsoever. Um, and you know, the thing about depression is, it does not care who you are, how much money you have or don't have. Um, I mean, you could have, you know, everything in the world that you want. Um, and still be depressed um, because it's depression is not about material things um, it is a chemical imbalance um, I take meds for it I say nothing wrong with taking meds uh, for something that's going to help you feel better um, I've always said that but it you know depression like I said it's not about what you have or, or don't have but not having something that you need can absolutely send you into a spiral. Um, in the month of December, my business was slow, slow, and we, um, you know, are so far behind on our bills um, because that was, you know, that's uh, my extra income and in helping pay the bills. But my business was so slow because, you know, everybody buying Christmas. Um, so, you know, that's what's had me in a tizzy. Um, but you know what? I know God will make a way. Um, these last couple shows that I've had have been really good, thanks to um, my great customers. I appreciate y'all so much if you're watching this. Um, but like I said, December was a really, really bad month. Um, and so I was like, you know, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I can't do this anymore. I'm, you know, tired of being like this, tired of living this way. I need, you know, I've got to do something. But I can't drive. I'm legally blind. <laughs> so it's not like I can go out and get a job for a steady paycheck. So I've been freaking out. I've been anxious about it. I've been so, so depressed, so depressed, so depressed that I can't, I can't even cry anymore. It's just like I was numb and empty and I mean, y'all know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, did not want to get off the couch. This is disgusting. I know. I went seven days without a shower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know that's disgusting. It really is. I know that. But I, I mean, I didn't want to get off this couch to do anything. 
to do anything. And when I did, you know, I had to, I had to make myself, and it was such a struggle, such a struggle. Um, but these past few days, uh, like I said, um, I'm picking myself up, dusting myself off, and starting all over again. You know, um, I feel much better because um, I know God's going to make a way. But when you're in that uh, that deep dark depression, you think there is no way, there is no way out, there is no relief, there's. Uh, no end in sight to your struggle. That's the way you feel. That's the way I have felt for, like I said, a very long time, it seems like. But um, the last few days, I, I have felt better. Um, and I know, I know there's, you know, there's going to be a lot at the end of the tunnel. So for uh, anybody that may be watching this and struggling, you're not alone. You are not alone. Um... There is a lot at the end of the tunnel. Um, don't beat yourself up for, you know, needing to take those few days to lay in bed or lay on the couch or not shower, not do your laundry, not do your, you know, don't beat yourself up for it. Um, even though when I don't do those things, I get anxiety. <laughs> anxiety, and it puts me in a really, really bad mood um, when my house is a mess, but... Um, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Um, the struggle is real. Um, and it's really hard when you don't have, like, um, somebody to talk to that really understands. And But when you're in that state, you don't want to talk to anybody anyway, really. Um, but there was a few days there I, I really, really needed to talk to somebody that understood the way I was feeling. But um, I just didn't want to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to. Wow. But I sure didn't mind eating. Look at there. <laughs> I sure didn't mind eating when I was depressed. <laughs> That's what I do. I eat all the time, especially when I'm stressed out or something. I eat. So there it is. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, depression is, is, is real. It's a struggle. Um, but I hate when somebody says, you know, get over it, quit acting crazy, which nobody says that to me. I'm just saying, um, I have talked to people before that, you know, um, their family or friends don't understand what they're going through and they're like, you know, just get over it. Uh, take a chill pill, it'll be all right, you know, quit acting crazy or whatever. And that hurts, that hurts because um, we're not crazy. It is a chemical imbalance, but that doesn't mean we're crazy, you know what I'm saying? Unless you keep on wanting to call somebody crazy, then we might can act crazy with you. <laughs> I know I can if I need to, but uh, I don't like to, to do that. <laughs> um, but anyway... Like I said, I have, um, I've saw a therapist before. It's been um, about a year or maybe more since I've saw a therapist, but, well, no, it's been about two years, I guess. Um, but that seemed to help, and I am on meds that help. Um, it don't always help, of course, because we still get in that, that slump every now and then. Um, and like I said, don't beat yourself up about it, because um, that's just the way that we're wired you know it's just the way that we're wired um it is what it is um but it is very important to still love yourself love yourself um even when you're in that uh, that dark time of your life i know it's very hard to because i wasn't loving myself much these last couple of weeks um i felt like a failure um i felt like i couldn't do anything right because you know i wasn't selling anything and i know um a lot of my problem too is my shipping time when you know because I do have a, a online business and sometimes especially when I'm in that state I just I don't feel like working I don't feel like doing anything and then that makes me feel like crud when I snap out of it thinking these people's paid me for stuff and I've not shipped it I suck I'm horrible no wonder my business is you know I, I go to that in my mind you know I'm a failure I'm a loser you know no but you know um, so I've, I've been struggling with that lately too, but I am glad to say, 
I've got everybody's orders ready to ship that I have here at my house. If you're waiting on makeup, though, it's coming from Unique. <laughs> um, but I am going to get everybody's uh, stuff out today. So, but anyway, um, so that'll make me feel a lot better, um, too. But I've, I've really been struggling lately. Uh, like I said, I'm pulling myself up, pulling myself out of it. Um, dusting myself off and just going to try to start over again you know that's all we can do um, not that something won't happen today that might upset me you know who knows like I said we are wired in a different way I guess you could say but that doesn't make us any less people than anybody else um, having a good support system does help uh, my husband has been such a good support for me these last couple of weeks you know just you know trying to convince me everything's gonna be all right we're gonna pull out of this um you know so because when i say we're struggling i'm not kidding we're struggling and i don't know what else to do um so i'm trying really hard <laughs> um to do better i know i've got to that that me doing better with my business um depends on my business succeeding so um and i need it too because that's you know my my extra income to help our family pay our bills but anyway for those of you struggling with depression or anxiety it's okay and i know we hate to hear it's okay when we don't think it's going to be okay ever again but it is going to be okay i'm living proof that um that it is going to be okay because I get down, especially lately, like I've said, I've been down, 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 down. But today, I'm feeling much better. Yesterday and the day before, I was feeling much better. So, I just want to let you know, you know, it does it does uh, come to an end. Um, you know, and when you're in that, that, that place, it does come to an end eventually. And you'll start feeling uh, like yourself again. But don't beat yourself up if you have to lay in bed for a week. Or if you, um, you know, if you have to cry to get it all out. I, I was, I couldn't cry anymore. Like I could not conjure up any more tears to cry anymore that I've cried the last two weeks or so. Um, but it's like something just, you know, snapped me out of it. And I was like, okay, it's going to be better. It's going to get better. I'm, I'm going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Um, but I didn't think it was. But I just want you to know you're not alone. There is help if you need it. There's nothing wrong with seeking help. Um, there's nothing wrong with taking medication to fix the chemical imbalance in our brain that we need desperately. Um, depression is um, depression is a silent killer. Hold on a second. Somebody's messaging me. Sorry, I can't multitask. <laughs> um, depression is a, it's a silent killer. I'm sorry, I'll hold on. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, depression is a silent killer, and I say that because a lot of times we don't know people are suffering with depression. We have no idea because they put on their fake smile. They act like everything's okay. Um, and if people are not really paying attention, they're not going to catch that there's something going on. There's something uh, behind that fake smile. Um, you know, if, if, you know, if people don't know us well enough. But, um, you know, we smile, but inside we're just dying. Um, and if we don't, 
talk about it to our support system, um, a lot of times they don't catch it. A lot of times they don't catch the signs. Something is wrong. I can tell something's wrong, you know. Um, and that's why it's a silent killer because a lot of people that uh, don't seek help or don't take medicines or just simply feel that they can no longer take this feeling. So many people commit suicide because they're depressed and they see no other way out. And trust me, I totally understand that feeling. I'm not there, but I have been. I have been, um, you know, a few years ago. I have been there, trust me. Um, you feel there's no other way out. You feel you can't take it anymore. There's nothing going our way. Nobody loves us. We feel worthless. I mean, we have all these feelings going on, and it's so, I don't know. It's the lowest feeling in the world to feel like a nobody and to feel worthless and like you're not doing anything for anybody or why do we even exist? Was I made, was I born to be depressed? Was, you know, we just can't take that feeling. So a lot of people commit suicide over depression. Um, and there's just not enough awareness out there for it. There's not because, you know, people think depression, oh my God, oh my God, she just needs to get over it. I hate that. I hate that. I hate the stigma that uh, depression has. People that don't um, experience it and have never felt it have no idea. Much less do they even care is what you feel. So um, I think we can be a support for each other. Um, you know, some people, like I said, don't have a support system, and, and that's um, that's why I, I do these videos, to let you know you're not alone. Um, these last two weeks, I've been in a really big depression. Um, not long before this past two weeks, I was in another big depression. So it's it's been a lot here lately for me. Um, <clears throat> but I will tell you, a couple years ago, I didn't think I was going to live any longer. That is just a fact. Um, and that's, you know, that's where it took me years ago. Like I said, I'm not in that, I'm not in that state now. I'm just, you know, I've just been depressed. Um, I, but no, I, I, I love living. <laughs> I have a lot to live for, but I do get depressed still uh, about things. But, but I totally understand um, people committing suicide over depression. Um, you know, they feel nobody cares, nobody understands. Uh, people think they're crazy. Uh, nobody wants to understand. They want to just shove them under the rug. You know, it's very hurtful, very hurtful, the stigma that depression has. And that's why I say it's a silent killer. Um, especially if people um, feel that they can't reach out for help and they're suffering inside in silence and then feel the need to commit suicide. That is so sad to me, so sad to me um, because I do know that feeling. So, if you're feeling that way, um, I urge you to please, please uh, call somebody, um, call a therapist, call a doctor, call whoever, um, whoever you need to, uh, to talk to, to help you out of that slump. Please don't take it that far, because I promise um, better days are coming. Better days are coming. And if we're not here to see it, we don't know. So, better days are coming. So, I urge you, if you're feeling that way today, please call somebody. Please call somebody. Um, I've called on God a lot. God loves us no matter what. God is so good to me. God is so good to me. Um, and he's, uh, he's who I look to. <clears throat> I do have, you know, a husband that, that has helped me tremendous, tremendously these last few weeks uh, to feel better. Um, but God has helped me uh, a lot. And I love him and I'm forever grateful and thankful for him. 
He is so loving and merciful and forgiving and I don't know. He's my everything. So, but anyway, um, please, please know that you're not alone and there is, there is help and there is a lot at the end of the tunnel and better days are coming. So, um, I love you. Um, I hope everybody has a great day and, uh, if you ever need anybody to reach out to, I am here. Um, we can go through this together because, like I said, you know, I will always struggle with it, I feel. Um, maybe um, maybe I can learn how to handle it better um, to where it doesn't come as often. I don't know, but I do know um, I felt better the last three days, and I'm so thankful for that. So, anyway... Um, you can always reach out to me on Messenger on Facebook um, or comment on this video on YouTube. Um, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube, if you would, I would greatly appreciate that. That way you'll know um, when I, you know, when I uh, post things and maybe it'll help somebody. I don't know. Maybe it will. Um, but the struggle is real. But you are so worth living you are so worth being happy you are so worth um, everything so um something that helped me when i was seeing a therapist is she told me every single day look in the mirror and say at least one positive thing to yourself in the mirror and do you know that helps it really does it really does even if you're not feeling it do it anyway do it anyway because you are beautiful you are um, wonderfully made. You know, we're all different, and that's what makes us so, so good. We're all different. Um, but you are beautiful, and you are, um, you're so worth living. So worth living. So uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, I plan on having a great day today, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I love y'all so big. Bye.